Hey guys, this is Shivain and in this video, I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that there is no audio or there is some problem with the sound settings on your Windows 10. Now before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, just comment down below or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. And also to avoid any confusion, make sure that your cables, your plugs, your speaker connections, your headphone connections or any other audio connections are secure to your laptop or your PC. Now the first thing that you have to do is go to your sound settings and you can do that by right clicking on the sound button and then opening up sound settings. In sound settings, make sure that you have selected the right output device and that you have not accidentally muted your master volume. You can accidentally mute your master volume by pressing these sound keys on your laptop or your PC. So make sure that you have good master volume selected in this window. Now the next thing we'll do is again right click on the sound button but this time we'll open up the volume mixer. And in the volume mixer make sure that you have not accidentally muted any of the applications that you want to use and you have sufficient volume assigned to each one of them. Now. If this didn't solve your problem, the next step will be rolling back or reinstalling your audio drivers. To do that, you just have to simply go and click on start and then search for device manager. And once you open up the device manager, click on sound, video and game controllers. And then once you expand it, you'll find all your connected audio devices in this list. Now select the audio device you're having problem with. For example, I'm having problem with my laptop so I'll select either the high definition audio device or in my case the Snaptix audio. So just select the Snaptix audio and then right click and then go to its properties. In properties go to its driver and if the rollback driver option is unavailable then click on update driver. If the rollback driver option is available then you roll back your drivers but in this case since it's unavailable I'm going to click on update driver and then Click on search automatically for updated driver software. Now if it says that the best drivers for your device are already installed and you restart your PC and it is still not working then you again go to your device manager and again select the correct audio device but this time when you go to update driver you select browse my computer for driver software. Then click on let me pick a list of available drivers on my computer and here Select the model that you want. For me, it's just this single model, Snaptex Audio, and then click on Next. After the process has finished, then just restart your computer and check whether this fixed your problem. If this still does not fix your problem, then what you can do is again go to the device manager, but this time instead of going to sound, video, and game controllers, you go to audio inputs and outputs, and there Find your speaker that you want to use, for me it is speakers Synaptix Audio, right click on it and then go to its properties and then again go to drivers and then do the exact same procedure which you did previously on this device. Then again restart your computer and check whether this fixed your problem. If this still does not fix your problem then the next thing I can suggest is that you just go ahead and uninstall your audio drivers. So. In the drivers tab just click on uninstall device and if it says that delete the driver software for this device just make sure that you do not check it and then click on uninstall. After you uninstall the device just restart your computer and it should automatically install the new driver softwares for your computer. Alternatively what you can do is manually download the audio drivers for your device and you can do that by going to your manufacturer's website. So for me I'm using a laptop from Lenovo and the model is C340. So I go to Lenovo's website and select my model and then I can easily download the audio drivers for my device on Lenovo's website. Then to install these drivers just follow the steps on the screen display and restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem. Also, you can follow the same procedure for other audio devices in your list. For example, the Intel R Display Audio or any other device which shows up in this list. As this problem occurs generally because of driver problems, that means you can just go ahead and repeat the same procedure for other devices. And one more thing to note is that if you have the Realtek Audio, 
then you have other options such as refreshing your Wi-Fi drivers. For example, just head over to Realtek website and then download their latest application version for your system. And after that, in Device Manager, just browse to your Realtek wireless LAN drivers. For me, I'm not using Realtek, so I cannot really show you. But just browse to your Realtek wireless LAN drivers and then right click on them and then click on uninstall. After you uninstall those drivers, then just navigate to the file that you downloaded from the Realtek website and then extract the folder and then click on setup.exe. Then follow the instructions and restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problems. Another thing that you can do is for Realtek users, you can disable your front jack detection from the Realtek HD audio manager which seem to have fixed the audio issues for some people on Reddit. Now moving on to the next step that is disabling audio enhancements. So just click on start and search for sound settings. In sound settings click on sound control panel and in sound control panel click on playback. In playback select the speakers that you want to use and then right click on it and then go to their properties. In properties go to advanced and then you will find under signal enhancements enable audio enhancements. If this box is checked then just disable all enhancements and restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem. Otherwise if this box is unchecked then enable all audio enhancements and then restart your device and check whether that fixes your problem. If these things does not fix your problem then we move on to the next step that is restarting audio services. So what you have to do is go to your start menu and then type services and then press enter. Once you open up the services tab then scroll down to windows audio. If the service has been stopped for some reason your system audio will not function. So just restart it by double clicking and selecting start. Also. Make sure that the service startup type for this Windows Audio is automatic by default. Now restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. If this does not fix your problem, then the last thing that we can do is try the audio troubleshooter. So what you can do is go to your control panel and when you are in the control panel, you search for troubleshooting. Then you open up troubleshooting and then click on the search bar again and search for audio. After you search for audio, you should find playing audio as one of the search results. Just click on it and then run the troubleshooter. Then click next and follow the troubleshooter and select the device that you want to troubleshoot. Afterwards, once you're finished with the process, just restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. If that still does not fix your problem, then what you can do is comment down on this video or email me and we will try to find a solution for your specific problem. Thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you then remember to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.